There's that first umbilical tower. We copy and uh, we're experiencing vibration. T minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds, second umbilical tower moving away from the Soyuz. First stage engine should be at flight speed. Three, two, one, fueling tower separates and booster ignition. And liftoff, liftoff of the Soyuz rocket as Alexander Kaliri, Scott Kelly and Oleg Skropochka begin their journey to the International Space Station. And uh, we're feeling the vibrations. We feel great. Everything's in order on board. Copy. Everything going well. Good pitch program. And Soyuz is heading toward a link up with the International Space Station two days from now. One and two are operating nominally. 30 seconds of flight. We still feel good. And uh, we are experiencing flight vibration and um, starting to experience G force. Copy. Good first stage performance. Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and two feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Is nominal. Copy. We feel fine. G forces are increasing. Copy. 60 seconds into your flight. Pitch, yaw, and roll are all nominal. Eighty seconds of flight. All systems are nominal. Thrusters of stages one and two are operating nominally. And we feel fine. In 10 seconds into the flight. Coming up on the two minute mark, a jettison of four strap on boosters. These have completed their jobs and will drop away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour. The vehicle is stable. And we feel fine. Everything's great on board. Copy. One hundred and fifty seconds. Second stage thrusters are nominal. Shroud has been jettisoned. We copy and concur. Escape tower and launch shroud jettisons, as you just heard there. That happens at the two minute and forty second mark. And as usual, we're experiencing flight uh, bias and roll. Copy. 190 seconds into your flight. Parameters are all nominal. Over three minutes now, traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. 200 seconds into the flight. Second stage thrusters are nominal. Copy. We all feel fine and everything's in order on board. Soyuz core stage is performing as advertised. The core stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine of four, with four fuel chambers, providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. And so the flight, the vehicle is stable. Copy and we're doing well. Two hundred and fifty seconds. 
Patreon and roll are all nominal. Everything is in order on board. Uh, the G-force uh, still rising, and uh, we're experiencing some, some growing G-forces uh, as we keep going. Copy. seconds into the flight. Separation of second stage. Second stage separation there. The core stage engines now fulfilled their role for today and dropping away. About four minutes of power of flight remaining. Soyuz now being propelled by single engine of the Soyuz third stage. This engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Stage three is operating nominally. Uh, very smoothly, no vibration. Copy. Third stage thruster is operating nominally. views inside the capsule as the crew continues to make its way towards orbit. 360 seconds of flight. Teach roll and yaw are all nominal. Everything continued as continuing as planned. We copy all mission control. Everything's in order on board. G forces are continuing to grow. Three hundred and ninety seconds into the flight. The uh, vehicle as well as uh, launcher parameters are all nominal. Copy. And we're doing well on board. We're hearing translated status reports. Again, reporting that all is continuing as planned for today's launch. Hundred and thirty seconds into the flight. All now more than seven minutes into the flight. Glossy we'll now almost thirteen thousand five hundred miles an hour. Reading you okay, uh, but we we hear increasing noise on the loop. And Guli, this is Mr. Permanov. This is it for me. I wish you all the best. Good job. And um, we're almost out of coverage. How do you read me? Over. We copy all. Thank you very much for your kind words. We will try to do our best to complete all of the object ob objectives of everything that's been assigned to us. Anatoly Permanov there, head of Roscosmos and the Russian State Commission of Top Space Managers, wishing the crew luck once again. Motion control system parameters are all nominal. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. 500 seconds into the flight. The flight is nominal. These stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise time stored in those computers. Things are still good on board. 520 seconds into the flight. Now just under nine minutes into today's flight. It's 530 seconds. Stage three separation confirmed. Third stage cutoff and separation. The single liquid fuel engine has shut down and dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Control over to Mission Control Moscow. This uh, 
Sturge, third stage is performing an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Thanks, guys. And Gula, this is Mission Control Moscow. How do you read? We have you loud and clear, Moscow. Angola, Moscow. We have you loud and clear. Please make sure and write down that uh, during the leak checks, uh, you do not need to close RPV-1. Actually, do not close RPV-1. How copy? We copy. We already closed it. Should we reopen it? No, don't worry about opening it. RPV-1. Copy. RPV-1. Open. Uh, we will uh, perform measurement one at this time. Now 11 minutes into today's flight, the Soyuz capsule and crew inside are safely in orbit, and the spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-programmed commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. Moscow reporting. Angle 2 reporting. First measurement, 11, 8, 25, 12, 8, 55, and 8, 52. Copy. Continuing to see live views inside the capsule of Alexander Kaliri and Oleg Skripochka. Now 12 minutes into their flight, launching today at 6.10 p.m. Central Time. Soyuz is now orbiting at an altitude of about 143 miles by 118 miles. That orbit will be raised systematically over the course of the next two days, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station for the final rendezvous and docking set for 7.02 p.m. Central Time on Saturday. Control of the spacecraft from here on out will be overseen from the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev outside of Moscow.